Well, a cannabis safety awareness campaign has launched bringing attention to the dangers of cannabis use and the need for adults to use responsibly. News 12's Daniel Campbell says the education and outreach campaign hopes to reach marijuana users across Long Island. It's called Let's Be Blunt, a cannabis safety awareness campaign designed to get the word out that although marijuana is legal for adults 21 years and older, like alcohol, it must be used responsibly. The first is securing and monitoring cannabis in the home for adults who use so that their children and young uh, people in their households can't get access to it. The second goal is to make sure that those who do use do not do so and get behind the wheel of a car and drive. Just because something is legal, you still have to think. There's still individual responsibility to keep it away from kids to not use and drive a car. It's just common sense. David Holliday, who is the Windage School District's drug and alcohol coordinator, says the parents of students should serve as role models. First of all, you have to be 21. Secondly, you still shouldn't drink, uh, smoke and drive. And just all the protections we have with alcohol to help them understand that it's not a free-for-all and that it can be dangerous. Hillary Alvarez from PACT, the group that put the cannabis awareness program together, puts it this way. Focus is on adults so that we can keep the youth safe. Along with the Let's Be Blunt campaign, local lawmakers say they are working to get state laws regarding driving while impaired changed. You could have the most wasted driver on earth if the substance that driver is on isn't on the list, they're not able to charge them with driving while impaired by drugs. David Holliday has this advice. Until you're older, it's better to be drug and alcohol free. Danielle Campbell, News 12, Long Island. Now let's be blunt. Cannabis awareness campaign hopes to bring attention to responsible cannabis use across Long Island. And we have information on our website at news12.com.